Hey guys, this is Imran from ithinkdiff.com. I'll be showing you how to root a Samsung Galaxy S phone. Uh, it's very simple to root if you're on the default firmware, uh, that, uh, the official firmware, not a, a leaked or custom ROM. If you're on the latest 2.1 build, uh, you ju just have to go to the marketplace and uh, search for one click fix, one click lag fix. Uh, this fixes the lag that uh, you get sometimes when you have a lot of uh, applications open in the Galaxy S. Uh, it's also used for uh, rooting your phone. I already have this uh, installed, so I'll just show you how it's done. Uh, I'll be showing you how to root, root uh, your device in this uh, video. I'll show you how to install the lag fix in another one. Uh, once you're in the app, you can see a lot of options. Uh, you don't have to mess with them. Just uh, click on root device 2.1. It will copy the update.zip to your root folder which uh, you have to install by going into recovery mode uh, just uh, click on fired up and uh, it will tell you when uh, it has when the file has been copied to the root folder now you just have to uh, reboot your device uh, just click on the hold the power button and uh, click power off Now we have to put the phone into the recovery mode. Uh, this can be done by holding the power button, home button and the volume up button on your phone. Uh, so let's do it. You have to hold it until the recovery mode shows. Go into the recovery mode now. Uh, use the volume buttons to scroll down to apply SD card update dot zip and press the home button. This will uh, install the update that uh, the one click lag fix app copied to the root folder. And now we have to wait for it to reboot. And so I can show you uh, how you can confirm that your phone has been rooted. There will be a super user. Uh, app installed uh, in the app launcher uh, so uh, which will show you that it has been indeed rooted Here's their super user permission app that has been installed. Shows you which app are using permission. I've got a few installed because I had already rooted the phone and I unrooted it for this video. And you can see the notification, etc. settings. But uh, this is it. Your phone is now rooted and you can install apps that require roots. Thank you for watching.